worry about getting to destinations today, we have another wonderful organization that can help you out. To quote the Edgar Winter Group, come on and take a free ride because you can do that today on DART whether or not you're voting or not. So take advantage of this. We said it's election day, local election day. No reason not to get to the poll stations and you guys are going to help. Yeah, Aaron Hackman joining us uh, with uh, DART this morning. Thank you so much for being here. A explain what this means when we're talking free rides today. We are offering free rides on all local local express and on-call services all day. So like all you day. said, Lou, whether you're going to the polls or not, uh, we just wanted to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to get to the polls to vote today. So free rides on all fixed route and services. And what an opportunity to see what it's like to jump on a dart bus and how convenient it is and how handy it is to jump on a dart bus. We certainly think so. We have our mobile app. Um, you can check real time, know when your bus is coming, plan your trip um, with our trip planner, either in the app on our website or in Google Maps. Now we want to remind everybody, and we'll talk about this throughout the day, <laughs> uh, polls are open along the DART uh, bus line routes. Uh, already now, uh, started at 7 a.m. this mm -hmm. morning, going until 8 p.m. Are those free rides happening that entire span of time? They're actually our whole service day, which is roughly 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. Oh, it so, is? Oh, wow. No excuses. No None. excuses. None. I, I so really, even helping you out there a little bit beyond. Yeah, I really hope people take advantage and see uh, uh, you know how dart you, you guys have made, made some improvements over at dart above and beyond what people expected because uh, i like the, like the wi-fi that is on board that was That's a game right. changer for a lot of people wasn't it? <laughs> it was we have a lot of people using the wi-fi so now this is the second year that you've implemented the free ride when it comes <clears> to <throat> our elections why is this important for dart to get behind the community this way to make sure there is no excuses that we are getting to those polling stations. That's a great question. You know, we know, um, <clears throat> excuse me, through our partnership with the United Way of Central Iowa, that about one third of Central Iowans are not financially self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. And we do hear from people on a regular basis that paying for their bus fare is an obstacle. And so on a day like today, when having to go to the polls is an extra trip, we really don't want um, somebody to not be able to do that because they can't afford that extra bus fare, really. So, okay. and, and what is bus fare right now? I'm just curious. On local routes, it's a dollar seventy-five. Okay, uh, which so is every time you board okay. if you don't have a pass. Okay, and, and yeah. you're responding to what the community <clears throat> is asking. So, since this is your second year, you kind of have an idea of what happened last year when you implemented something like this. What 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 did you see in the numbers? We saw about a two to three percent increase in ridership, and last year was the first year that we had done it, so we knew you know maybe not everybody. We had an opportunity to hear that that was available right. so we're hoping to see an even bigger increase this year absolutely and speaking of increases you've increased some of your routes too uh, recently too let's we talk have. a little bit about that uh, you know we've expanded service in some areas we have a new express route that goes directly to Grimes and we're seeing uh, a lot of interest and people utilizing that we also launched a new flex connect on-demand service in Urbandale and we've already, it's been over two weeks now, we've um, exceeded 100 trips on that service. We've actually seen an increase in utilization of that new service over okay, what we were seeing. Okay, explain what that is. So uh, there is a zone in Urbandale that um, you can call an on-demand trip to get to a fixed route bus. So there's three transfer point locations. Um, as long as you start or end your trip with, at one of those kind of bus stops where you can connect to a fixed route, your trip is free. Okay. So people can use um, Uber. They can call themselves directly through the Uber app, get a get an on-demand trip through Uber. We're paying for that trip as long as they're connecting to really? a DART fixed route bus. How about that? Yeah, continuing to learn and educate our community because you're listening to the community on what they're asking to make yeah. sure they can get to their destination. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know it, it's a very simple process. You can just get on and ride today, but let's break that down for people if they're hearing this and saying, I could ride for free today. What does that mean? Because mm -hmm. I know you do have your local, you have your express and you have your on-call services. So how does that work? Do we just jump on a bus or uh, how does that work Probably today? the best thing to do is to identify what your polling location is. Many people probably, hopefully, already know that. And then you can go to our website, ridedart.com, and click on the tab for our trip planner. Okay. And you just plug in, you know, where you're starting at, where your polling location is, and it'll show you what your options are to get there. Now, for okay. people that haven't ridden DART before, how often does a, does a, bu a bus travel around or along a route? Like, for example, let's pick mm -hmm. one out. Let's just say Ingersoll, for example. Mm -hmm. Up and down Ingersoll, how often do buses go up and down so here? So our Route 60 is uh, the popular route we have in that area, and it runs about every 20 minutes. And okay. every route does vary. We have some right. that are a little bit more frequent than others. Um, so that's where the, the trip planner and the online tools and real-time information we provide is really helpful. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we just want to say thank you.
you uh, for making awesome sure there is no excuses out there uh, about getting to your polling station and using your right to vote today. So, Erin, again, if people want more details, where's the best place for them to go? Visit our website, RideDart.com. All right, there you go. Offering free <laughs> rides all day today for election. If nothing else, like Lou said, just a great opportunity to ride Dart. You know what I would do? I'd, I'd ride the bus, jump on the Dart, jump on the bus, go vote, and then jump on the bus again, and then go do something fun oh. along the route before you go back yeah. home. See what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. I utilize it to its fullest. That's Perfect. Right. Thank Love you it. so much. Thank, Thank you for you. being here today. Okay, that being said, we know how to get you to the polling station. Why do you need to get there? We're going to learn more about that and break it down for you with our party scoopers who are going to be joining us next.